story from Florida that you have to see to believe. And even after seeing it, you might not think it's possible. We do want to warn you, if you are squeamish, we suggest you turn away from the TV for the next two minutes. OK, well, I can't do that. So last Friday, a man had 150 live bugs pulled out of the inside of his nose. It was unbelievable as it sounds. It also comes as a new warning for people who have compromised immune systems. Rich Donnelly from our Jacksonville station reports. Over a couple hours, my face just started swelling. So my lips swelled. I could hardly talk. My whole face felt like it was on fire. First Coast News is not identifying the man from this procedure, but the patient said he began feeling off in October of 2023. 30 years ago, he had neuroblastoma, which removed a cancerous tumor in his nose and left him with an extremely compromised immune system. Over the course of a few hours last week, his face became extremely swollen. I started getting nosebleeds, constant nosebleeds. I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom without my nose starting to bleed. And that's when he went to HCA Florida Memorial Hospital. When I went for the examination, doctor goes, I see movement. Dr. David Carlson was the ENT on call that night. We took a little camera and we looked in the nose and that's when things dramatically changed. Dozens of bugs alive and feeding on the inside of the patient's nose and sinus cavity. Size wise, you know, there was variations, but but some of the larger ones were as probably as big as the end of my pinky. I knew he was in big trouble. There was erosion that was occurring up near what we call the skull base that was in very close proximity to his eye and his brain. 150 bugs in the larva stage were pulled out of the patient's nose and have been sent off to an epidemiologist to determine what type of bug they are. They were up right against his skull base, right underneath the brain. Had they gone through that, it could have killed him. This case is extremely rare. There's nothing like it documented in the United States. And while Dr. Carlson doesn't want to cause widespread panic, he does caution people with compromised immune systems. Certainly if you're going to be around a dirty environment, those hands need to be washed. I know that I have to change my lifestyle as far as how I handle fish. Before I would rinse my, my hands in the river. You know, now I'm, I'll use a cleaner to just do a better job in between and make sure I don't touch my nose with my hands. The patient was given an antiparasitic and will be evaluated three to four times a year, but is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. Ugh. Anyway, sorry about that if you're eating breakfast. Our coverage of health news can also be found at WQID.com. Just head to our website and you can find some less gross stories right there. The time is 